Hey there guys, it's Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10147. This is a leaked build which rather obviously leaked earlier today and includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10130. So yes, Microsoft is in the cleanup stage, they are making Windows 10, they are finalising Windows 10 and uh, Windows 10 is RTMing within the next few weeks and build 10147 is echoing that polish of what you should expect with the RTM. So uh, diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with the UI in fact. Uh, with Spartan, Spartan is now branded as Edge which is what was announced back in January. You can see the new E icon down here and in when you load up the thing. Uh, when you load up the program. Up here there's a new icon and the feedback button has switched with the search share button so you can easily share from the main navigation now. Uh, nothing much really new here in um, in Edge other than the fact that you can change the theme to dark theme. Oh wow, look at how great that is. So yes, dark theme is a thing in Edge now which is fantastic. I, uh, let's turn it back to light for though. Actually no, let's keep it dark. We like the dark theme. Dark theme is awesome. Uh, so yes, that's dark theme, it looks pretty sexy, so if we minimise that and move right along. Uh, if we go to the all apps section, you can see that the camera and contact support apps have been given new icons. The the apps are, st are still the same though. Uh, let's take a look here actually. Oh no, the title bar up here has changed for contact support, which is fairly nice. The camera app is still pretty much the same though, I have already checked it, so we won't be going through that. Action centre, it seems a little bit more responsive now, which is good. If we go into here and jump in and out of uh, categories, you can see there's a nice animation which zooms in and out when switching between things, which is fantastic. Also, there's an issue. I can't activate this build. I mean, I can't personalize really anything, which is a shame. But uh, yeah, I mean, if this was activated, you'd be able to do a number of different things. If we go into tablet mode, uh, tablet mode does appear to be a lot more touched up as you can see down here there is now a power button and an all apps button so you don't have to go into the hamburger menu uh tapping on them just takes you into the apps list which is on the left thumb so you can scroll up and down here if we open up a couple of apps and show you the animation so as you saw there that was one of the animations let's open up music uh and if we um jump between how do we oh i can't use the mouse well i don't have a touch screen which is a shame but if i did i would be able to you know do the whole switchy roo thing with um uh, being able to snap apps, but unfortunately I can't do that right now as I don't have a touchscreen. I may do a separate video with, with this build on a tablet. Cortana's still here, and Cortana works great. Uh, nothing really new with Cortana, to be fair with you. Let's uh, come out of tablet mode and show you Cortana in all of her glory. Yeah, nothing really new here, although a bunch of her options have sh definitely shrunk. So you go, it's all in the notebook now, so we can go into About Me change my name, edit favorites, favorite places and so on, reminders, etc, etc, all pretty great. If you see what else is new here, there's a Git Office app, which allows you to get Office rather obviously, built into Windows 10, which is very interesting. Microsoft might be pushing Office a lot more harder in Windows 10. Down here, this icon changed, which is nice. Oh, and the title bars between Win32 apps and Modern apps are the same finally, so oh, actually that's not a good example since that's in dark mode now. Let's open up the feedback app and take a look here. So as you can see, if I highlight um, the file explorer, it's the same thickness as what it, 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 it is in a modern UI app, which is great. Unification, unification is that a word? I don't even know. Unifying the title bars between all apps is a good thing. Oh, there's a new welcome message for uh, feedback now. Uh, but other than that, this app is still an atrocity. When it comes to the user interface uh let's see is that it this app is is that open apparently this is open but it's not open oh it is okay i don't know what that is anyway a bug there that might be well i say might that is a bug so let's see what else is new let's see if the people app got updated probably not uh a little bit it looks a bit nicer now uh this still looks terrible but this bit's a little bit nicer which is good uh let's see Mail, mail's still the same. Nothing really new in mail, which is to be expected. 
Let's see if there's anything else new here. Music and TV got the same. Phone Companion. The Phone Companion app is here and it works. I like the Phone Companion. You oh, it doesn't work. I lied. The Phone Companion app doesn't work. It crashes upon launch, which is nice, but I guess that may be an issue of activation. I don't know. It might work. It might not work. As you can see, it's crashing for me, so hooray. Uh, Cortana, still called Search, although her icon's now a circle. I don't think that was the case in previous builds. I haven't seen it before, I don't think. Voice recorder, still the same, nothing really new there. Now, another change to the UI is that highlighting things within Win32 apps is now a lot more modern. As you can see here, it's no longer got that silly uh, highlight around the box when you highlight it. It just all looks the same. Right clicking gives you this. Uh, that's still the same there though, which is a shame. But everywhere else, it's still all the but all the modern all the Win32 buttons have been updated as well. So if we go into somewhere, you can see here the buttons are different. They look a lot nicer now, which is great. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much going over the main new changes in this build. Uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, this is a leaked build, so as per usual, I don't recommend you install it. But uh, Windows 10 is definitely heading in a good direction now. I'm a lot more positive about the RTM, which is coming soon. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.